Welcome back guys. Today here we're working on this 94 Freightliner with a Detroit 12.7 in it. Just recently did an overhaul on it, but it appears to be the diamond seal or the truss, truss plate or perimeter seal was damaged um, when doing the head, replacing the head on it. So our task today is to get that sorted out. Trent's gonna be taking the valve cover off here in a few. So. Oh, man. Alright, as you can see, getting the valve cover off. off. Yeah, we had to see a drop. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the parts we take it off can go on this side. Alright. Got the jake brakes. Just got to get those wires off, then we'll start taking those off. And then after that, we just got to move the rocker shafts, put them to the side, and then start taking the cam caps off so we can slide the cam back. Get the chase disconnected. Cut off. Power. All right, we got here. We got the jakes off now. We just got to remove the rocker shafts, get it out the way. So what we'll do here is, what I like to usually do is I'll start by loosening these 18 bolts here on the end, and then work my way from the end to the middle, and then remove the two middles afterwards. All right, good, I guess good question is why why moving that particular model? Um, I do it. I don't like so the rocker shafts don't bend. camera down for a bit, get a few things done, and then I'll pick it back up and show you where we left off from. We've got the cam cap loose. We have the cam bolt loose. As you can see, we have the cam slid back there. We don't have it on TDC, but I've made my markings on for the cam gear, for the cam cap. And from the perimeter or the thrust plate to the front cover. So, give us a bit. We'll get that uh, thrust plate pushed back in, and um, we'll take the seals out and inspect the seals to see what was damaged. Pull it straight up. Uh, oh, yeah, they come out. All right. So we found our uh, culprit. There was no silicone that goes 
across here to stop oil leaking. So that's what we gotta do. We changed, pull the seat out. I just popped a new one in there. So I'm gonna run a uh, bead of silicone across both sides of it and start getting this thing put back together. All right, gotta replace this back ring seal, just like we did the front. Get that one popped in there. Good to go. All right, now we could just start uh, wiping up all the perimeter, getting everything cleaned up, and then we could start uh, our reassembly process. Got a hundred? Yeah. Little daily on the line. Yep. Alright. Lock it on. Jackie is in the truck. Which one? Mouse who in the truck now nah, was using the data voice. That's I say 90%. No 90. Yeah, 90%. Yeah. 90, yeah. 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 You remember? Yeah. Why you never tell Justin this though? But okay. I go on 90%, right? <laughs> so, so, so now, so now what happened? Let me go on. All right. Let me go I get on record to say. <laughs>
Last but not least. Last and not here. Alright, let's just double check them. Alright. But we should be good to go. Just gotta wire the jakes and get ready to put the file cover back on and fire it up and the oil leak should be fixed. As you could see, we now have silicone in place. So our leak should be fixed and we shouldn't have any more major oil leaks coming from the front of the rocker cover or the head, I should say.